Oh yeah, here it is. Um, I don't. It stinks. And also, I don't like cheese because it stinks. I think it's goat cheese. I don't know. I'm not eating it, but I know that. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can tell by the title, I am not in Miami. Um, I am in France. I didn't feel like vlogging yesterday when I got in. I got here around like 2.30 yesterday. But I was really tired because um, I flew from Miami to London, London to Nice. And then I took an Uber from Nice to my Airbnb, which is only like, like 30 minutes. So it wasn't too bad. But after all of that, I was really tired. So I literally yesterday, I, um, I got here, I checked in and I got something to eat and then I literally passed out. I woke up like sometime in the middle of my fake nap, which is really me going to sleep. I woke up and I literally forgot where I was. I had no idea where I was at, <laughs> um, but clearly it was fine because I went back to sleep anyway. So, which happens a lot to flight attendants, at least to me, I always wake up forgetting where I'm at. So <laughs> it was like nothing, nothing out of the ordinary for me. I, so I filmed the um, the room tour yesterday actually. Um, I had enough energy to do that, but that's about it. I woke up around 10 p.m. So I was just watching French music videos. I don't know French all that well. I did take a few years in high school, but high school was many years ago, so <laughs> I don't know. So I actually went to Lisbon last month, but I didn't vlog it because I was so not interested. I was so like tired from working so much. Vlogging is like work to me, so I didn't feel like working, so I didn't vlog it. But I will, I guess, insert the... I did do a room tour when I was there because my Airbnb in Lisbon was very nice, so I'd probably put that in here too just because I don't know what else to do with that video. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, clearly it's been a while, it's been a few months. Um, I went back to work, so I've been working this whole time. I haven't had any time to do any um, international traveling. I've just been doing regular work travel, um, nothing fun. But today we are going to Lisbon, Portugal. Um, it's kind of a last minute decision, kind of not. I planned this out a few months ago, but I canceled the trip because they canceled my, um, originally I was supposed to fly from Miami to London, London to Lisbon, but they canceled my London to Lisbon flight and then they gave me a new flight that landed at midnight and I was like, I don't wanna do that. So I canceled the whole trip, but last night I was looking at flights and I was like, you know, let me just go. So I found a new flight that leaves from Newark that gets to Lisbon straight. I don't have to fly through any airport. So I'm going straight to Lisbon from Newark. Um, I land at 8 a.m. instead of midnight. So, um, I decided that that's perfect, so I'm gonna go. Literally yesterday I decided I'm gonna go. Um, I have a few days off of work, so I decided I wanted to go on a trip. Um, so I actually, I looked up um, non-stop flights from the United States, anywhere in the United States, to anywhere. And it just so happens that Lisbon was one of them. Um, they had um, others like Dubai, London, somewhere in Germany. Um, what was the other one? I can't remember. I think Switzerland, somewhere in Switzerland. But I was like, I was already planning on going to Lisbon. So why not go to Lisbon? So that's what we're doing. Um, right now I am getting ready. My bag is really light. I don't know if I'm getting better at international travel or if I'm forgetting something. I don't know. I guess I'll find out. 
Um, I am leaving to Fort Lauderdale, which is not what I wanted to do, but it's okay. I'm going to Fort Lauderdale, um, going to fly to Newark, sit for like maybe three hours, and then fly to Lisbon. Like I said, I land at 8 a.m. The check-in to the Airbnb is not until 3 o'clock, so I don't know what I'm going to do. They said that um, they had somebody else checking out, so I can't check in early. Anyways, um, I guess let's go to Lisbon. Okay, that was weird. I was watching the neighbor, I heard him leave. <laughs> Anyways, I am at my Airbnb. Um, that's better. I'm so greasy. Oh my god. It's because my skincare that I put on before the flight was um, some like skin oil. But it's like it's so greasy. Anyways, the flight was only six hours. It was super quick. I watched one movie. I watched Little Shop of Horror. And then I went to sleep. Um, the dinner they gave us was pasta with like tons and tons of cheese on it. And we all know I don't like cheese. So I only ate the salad. Um, and then they gave us a salted caramel ice cream. So I ate that too. I'm really excited about this Airbnb. Supposedly, well, it did. It got very good reviews. Um, it's a little expensive, but it's worth it because of the view. Um, but I want to do a regular tour first to show you before I show you the view. Um, so the Airbnb is on this really large hill by the way. Um, but here is the entrance. You got all these locks and whatevers. I'm not really sure. This is the lock, the actual lock. I don't know. Um, oh, this, I remember this from London. Do that so nobody comes in and uh, gets me while I'm sleeping. Uh, the telephone. The peephole is useless. Like, you can't even see out of there. But, nights. Here is a kitchen. It's really cool because there's a door. You can literally like close it if you wanna. Uh, I guess that's all the light that's in here. Here's a kitchen. I don't think I'll be spending much time in here. I'm only here for like two or three days, so. Got the refrigerator. Um, outside. Then it's a two bedroom. Here's the first bedroom. Simple. You got your uh, lawn chair in here. <laughs> Super simple room, towels, a fan. It is hot here right now. It was humid when I first got here, but now it's like really hot. You got another chair here, more towels. Super simple. Like I said, I'm only here for like two or three days, but I I bought this Airbnb specifically for the view in the backyard. You got the shower. Um, mirror. Oh, let me turn the light on. Got the bathroom. Yeah, lots and lots of mirror space. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing my makeup while I'm here. Um, like I said, it was humid, you can tell because of my hair. Got some of this, got a plug. Okay, good, I can do my hair. Um, style is a way to say who you are without having to speak. 
Okay. That's how you know they disinfected the toilet. It's nice and clean. Okay. Um, there's a sitting area. You got this rug. I don't know, it's like deer. Might be a deer. They gave me um, cheese and wine. They said the cheese is in the refrigerator, but I didn't even look because I don't eat cheese. But, let me see. Oh yeah, here it is. Um, I don't. It stinks. And also, I don't like cheese because it stinks. I think it's goat cheese. I don't know. I'm not eating it though, I know that. Oh, there's a microwave. Okay, so here is the TV. Um, the lighting kind of changed, but here's what I paid for. That's basically the whole reason I bought this Airbnb because I thought, okay, lighting, because I thought that view was really nice. <laughs> so I'm only here for a few days, so I'm like, why not have a um, nice view while I'm here? Um, so right now, as usual, I am starving, so I... They gave me a, um, like a map, or not a map, like a um, welcoming book, and in it, in the welcoming book, they have, um, restaurants, so, yeah, I'm about to go look through that and see what I can eat real quick because I am hungry. So I'm gonna get some food and then I guess I will be back later. So my birthday's in like two days, I think. So I have plans to go to Paris for like two days. And then I'm gonna come back here and then finish my trip here. I just learned about this place only a few days ago. My original plan was to stay in Paris the whole week. But I saw pictures of this place and I was like, oh, I want to go there instead. So that's why I'm here. Right now I'm about to go to the grocery store because they took my toothpaste in London yesterday. Uh, which I knew they would because London's very strict. Their TSA agents are very strict in London. You like can't bring anything with you. <laughs> and so they took my toothpaste. I've been carrying the same size toothpaste to other countries and nobody ever takes it except for London Heathrow but that's fine my vlogs into probably three sections the first one probably be um the room tour the second one is probably just going to be here walking around looking at stuff and then the third one will probably be paris um because they're very long already 
So I am going to end the first one right here. So thank you for watching part one. Stay tuned for part two and three. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and stay tuned for more videos.